And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Seven Days to Die. And speaking of dying, well, something just happened. If you look at my health down in the bottom left, uh, yeah, I, I came out, I was gonna, I opened the door to come out, I turned the corner, and a whole pack of dogs came right at me. Uh, and so, yeah, I closed the door, but a couple got in, and they killed me a couple times. So, yeah, uh, I died a couple times already. Yeah, there were, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I think there's another one, seven. I think there were seven dogs in this little, in this little dog pack. Really? You too? You know, there's... It, it's enough with the dogs, but I could use I could use the animal hide. Make sure there's not like seventy zombies coming my way. So yeah, that was uh, one of those heart stopping moments when I saw all those dogs. I was like, oh, I'm dead. I, there's no way. There's no way I'm surviving that. Trying to get as much of much resources out of these guys as I can here before they despawn. So I, you know, I wish I would have had that on camera. That that one little, that one moment, that one moment where you see all the dogs coming at you, and it's like, oh man. Unfortunately, uh, I was too freaked out and uh, trying to trying not to die so yeah they killed me once and then when I respawned they hit me again and they you know they ended up dying here's another one they ended up dying and but when they hit me I was bleeding and I couldn't get I couldn't get to the one the one bandage I had in storage quite fast enough. But, you know, I died right at my house, so I was able to pick up... I was able to uh, get, get, get all my stuff right away. Yeah, they came right around this corner, right towards me. Oh, man, that freaked me out. Because I had just gone in to grab some more forged iron to make another axe instead of repairing this one. Uh, I was just going to make another one. Yeah, I didn't expect the dogs uh, quite so soon. I thought they, I thought they came like day six, uh, and not day five. Thought it was the day before. Day before hordes is when you can expect the dogs, but apparently maybe it's two days before. Okay, so the item is missing. Okay, so we need to make another tool. There it is. Iron fire axe. And yeah, go. So the rest of this tree. I'll just take down with this thing. So, unfortunately, I wanted to get on camera the aftermath. Because I had basically just finished the last episode. And that's when they showed up. So, unfortunately, didn't, didn't get that on camera. It was one of those extremely freaky moments when you know you're going to die. I need to clean up a little bit around the immediate vicinity. I want to get my weed cleaver up and running, but that is going to use my precious forged iron. Doesn't use much, but it uses some. I 
There's a zombie body back here. I don't know. I don't know how long he's been back here. So yeah, I'm gonna craft a new one, and I'm not gonna scrap the other one. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put it in the forge, uh, and that sh that should give me quite a lot of that material back. Might want to take these stairs out too. I want to make sure I also have enough wood for putting spikes in front of my door when the horde comes. That's kind of important. I don't have any cobblestone. Okay, so most of these are repaired. And just, just a matter of getting them in the game, I guess. Getting them in here. And look at my door. My poor door. Oh, I need iron. Lucky I have quite a bit of it. There we go. And I don't think I have any forged iron left. Yeah, that's what it's going to take to upgrade that the rest of the way. Okay, put the plant fibers, the bones away. I gotta try to build my build my health back up again. Uh, as you can see, oh, there the axe finished, and now it is 38 damage. And this in here, I want to start this, but that will basically start attracting uh, start attracting the. Uh, the bad, bad screamers, and we don't really want to do that just yet. Uh, so we've got clay uh, for cobblestone, and I just need small stones. So I can make, let's make like 140, and there we go. Oh, nice. So yeah, I'll be able to upgrade my outer walls all the way around. That that might be worthwhile. I've got lots of rocks, lots of stone I've been collecting all this time, but I want to make sure we are at least decently protected in here. Uh, I haven't actually looked in here in a while. Oh, I've got I've got chili in here. What's my oh my food is? Uh, we're gonna eat this and scrap that. I'm trying to get all this stuff repaired because the horde is a coming. It is going to be here in, you know, we're just now ending day five. There we go. Uh, trying to get as much of that cobblestone as I can. Because uh, this, this is the important one to up, update. Because they're going to, they're going to come for the door first. That's the first thing on their agenda. So if I, yeah, I don't have any iron. And it, I think it takes quite a lot of iron to upgrade. Yeah, 20 iron there, 40 iron there, another 40 iron. That's brutal. So I'm going to upgrade this one once, and then I don't have enough. Uh, and then we have this one over here. Okay, well, there goes all the iron that I had saved up. And now I need more clay. Uh, let's look at tools. See, I can't make an iron garden. Well, that's 16 forged iron for that. Yowza! Uh, iron shovel, another 16. I might have to do a stone shovel uh, just to get some more clay. 
So let's grab um, plant fibers, I think is what I wanted there. So I'm going to grab a stone shovel. And I don't think if I do, I think garden hoe is about the only thing. Yeah, see, there's no like, there's no like stone hoe. And now it is nighttime and I really, 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 really don't want to deal with whatever whatever might be coming for me yeah i oh I, I oh i can't believe i died can't believe i died you know i'm what level level 13 on day five and what was that eight eight dogs came at me i mean that's nuts But upgrading this stuff should. Look at that. It's nine to upgrade. That's that's an odd number. You know, I have a claw hammer somewhere. There it is. Let's see how fast this baby is. Nice. So I'm going to do one more. Uh, just kind of an exposed. Exposed corner over here. There we go. Slowly getting somewhere where I have a little bit more defense. And let's see. Uh, while it's nighttime, we are going to turn this baby on. I'm going to take the iron out of there. I'm going to put the axe in. This should, this should give me quite a lot of, of iron when this melts down. Tools are, tools are awesome. If you scrap it, you lose like, I don't know, 25% or something like that. So you want to be very, very, very careful. Okay, that one's done already. I want to hit this one. So we are down to 23. And now I am super duper thirsty. There we go. Took care of that little problem. Uh, and I'm, am I hungry? Not really. I've got two bacon and eggs ready to go. And I did craft a cooking grill. So I've got a grill in here now. I can make like grilled meat somewhere. Grilled meat, which is a little bit better than uh, your boiled meat or... Uh, Let's see, charred. Definitely better than charred. So grilled is grilled is better. Okay, so do I dare go out there? I I heard moaning before, so I'm not sure. I kinda wanna get some stuff done tonight, but the worst thing that could happen would be a screamer showing up. That would be horrendous. Oh, there he is over there. Okay, well, you're going to die quickly. Oh, nice. Mechanical parts. Sweet. There we go. Nice. Mechanical parts. I'm going to put away all the animal hide. Uh, I've got a little bit of lead. Put away those. Yeah, I have don't really have any major, like, plan uh, of getting everything going here. 
So iron arrowheads, obviously we're going to want lots and lots of crossbow bolts. Um, but for now, we're going to, we're going to just make some forged iron, uh, to make 36 of it. Nice. Uh, 37 now. I think we're going to craft with, yeah, I'm going to craft 37 of these. Actually, I want 38 since I've got two left in here. That will give me an even 40. Uh, which is easier on the brain than an odd, super odd number. Uh, how much animal fat do we have? Now, let's see. Torch takes animal fat, cloth fragment, and wood. So if I grab some cloth fragments, which must be over here. I've got wood, so let's let's make some torches. And, you know, this will be, this will go to help me light up the, the neighborhood. I want to light up everything. So when Horde does, when the Horde Knight does come, I can, I can spot these guys. And it's raining out. So I want to be able to see out there. And it's going to be kind of hard to see. There's nothing lit up. Now, is this stuff... I could sit here and stare at this while it's crafting these. And I and I would get miscellaneous crafting a bump on miscellaneous crafting. Uh, but you know, I wanna I wanna look at other things while I do that. Um I would love the next level of minor 69er just because I wanna get some of that harvest count. That would really, really help me out. Um, we have three levels of mining tools left. Bad mechanic won't really help me until I get a wrench. So I'm kind of steering clear of that. I did get the, the Tyrannosaurus here, uh, just for my stamina. I wanted, I wanted a little extra stamina and quicker crafting. That might be handy. That might be really handy. This should, this should actually reflect that. I forgot to look. I forgot to look to see what it was going to be before I, before I exited out of there. Okay, so let's put some forged iron in there. Got a little bit, a little bit of bottled water left. I could smelt these cooking pots. Those give me like twenty-five a piece. That forge weight twenty-five. Yeah, that's really really good. Uh, how's my hunger doing now? Yeah, I couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe those dogs when I when I came around that corner. I mean, I came around the corner and those dogs were right there. Oh, so annoying. I'm hoping the loot respawns over there. It might not, though. No guarantees it will. Be nice to be able to upgrade all my walls going all the way around. That would be, that would be nice. But, you know, our, our priority right now is spikes because that's our number one defense against the massive horde. And it's really down to, uh, it's really down to clay at this point. Uh, I can put away the cloth fragments. I'm going to put cloth stuff over here. And so we've already got this stuff here. Black dress shoes. Uh, well, we're going to scrap those. What are we going to get out of those? Ooh, we're going to get three leather. Nice. 
Got lots of bone. I might want to craft another shiv. Uh, recipes, bone shiv, craft. Just because this one, yeah, look at that. 150, so the block damage, 1.04. Uh, I guess it's entity damage, really, really comes down to it. Um, so th this one is kind of garbage, so I'm going to put it in the toilet. Toilet is for garbage. Uh, how am I? I am a little overheating here. Okay, so for some reason that one's doing it faster than this one. Got lots and lots of iron in there, which is good. Because uh, now we can craft massive numbers of iron arrowheads. Can't do steel without a crucible, and those things are not cheap. So, this is all done. Let's uh, throw those cooking pots in there. Uh, cooking pots, there you are. So, 510, I should have like 560. There it is, 560. So 560, that's 56 more forged iron bars, which is good. Oh, I'm wet. It's wet up here. I hate the rain. Really, really hate the rain. Can't see anything. All right, well, that will have to do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.